In the previous video, using an ESP32 board, I just connected it to my computer, installed a driver, and got a basic script up and running using, using an IDE called Thani. Now, in this video, I'm going to achieve the same results. I'm just going to use Visual Studio Code and a small tool called Ampy to upload my code to my board. So the board that I'm using is an ESP32 board that has been slightly adjusted to work more easily with LEGO Mindstorms. So this is the board here. It does not have an onboard LED. So just to confirm that my code is writing, I have a small circuit here uh, just with an LED connected. It's a little hard to see, but I have a light that is currently on. So we're gonna make that light flash. In the previous video, we also installed the driver. So if you haven't done that, you can go look at the previous video where I walk through installing the driver. And in this video, we're going to continue assuming you have the driver installed using a small tool called Ampy. So first, I'm going to assume you have both Python and a program called pip installed. Pip is a Python package manager that allows you to install and manage your Python packages. So, I'm just gonna go to my command line. Now with Python, a Mac comes with Python installed. So if I just run Python, you can see that this is working. I now have a Python command line here and I can write some Python. Uh, if I wanna check out the Python version, I would run that command and you can see I'm running 2.7. So that's the version of Python that came installed with the Mac OS. However, I also used Brew to install Python 3, an updated version. Now to execute a Python 3 command, I just write Python 3. So again, I have my Python terminal and I can write Python if I so wish. Also, if I look at my Python, Three version, you can see I'm running version 3.9. So the first thing I need to do is make sure pip is installed. So if I just run pip, I can see I get command not found. Um, mine specifically is under pip3, where that would work. So now to install ampy, I'm just going to go pip3 install add a fruit. Ampy. Now I've, I already have it installed so you can see that nothing was installed because I installed it previously but if this is your first time that command would work and you would see an installation process. Now depending on how pip is configured it may just be pip install ampy. I'm going to get command not found. Um, you can also, you may also need to use sudo, so I could go sudo, and for me it's pip3. And if that doesn't work, one other alternative is to run pip using Python. So you can use, you can run any Python module using Python. So if I go Python 3 dash m pip install MP. and any of those processes would work some of them, not all of them may work for you depending on your configuration but one of those should. So now that I have MP installed I can type MP and you can see I'm just getting the help documentation there. So I, I'm set up, I have Ampy installed. Ampy is gonna allow me to take a local file and publish it to my ESP32 board and execute it. So now we need a small program to execute. So I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. I'm just gonna create a new program and I'll just save this on my desktop as LED. And in here, I'm just going to write a small program. So let's just go import time 
and import my pins. Then I'm going to create a variable called LED and from here I just want to set which pin my LED is on. So if you look here my, my pin is connected to here. If you look closely it's labeled as 1022. Um, however when I'm coding it you leave out the 10 and just put 22. And next, I'm going to create a infinite while loop. And in here, I'm just going to turn the light on. Uh, wait a second. Turn it off. And then wait another second. Now, if I execute this program, as is and something is wrong with my circuit I may not know if my code is either broken my circuit is broken or for some reason it's not uploading properly so I'm just gonna add here a print command with the word working so at least I can tell if my code is executing the loop if the circuit was broken the code would still work I just wouldn't see a flashing light so this way I can tell is my circuit broken, is my code broken, or is it not even getting my code onto my board? All right, so our next step is to upload our program and test it out. So I'm gonna open up my terminal and I'm going to navigate to my desktop folder. If I do a list, you can see there is my Python program. So now I need to upload that to my ESP32 board and execute it. So to do that I need to know the name of the port that the board is attached to. So I'm just going to do a list dev slash tty dot star and this will give me a list of all my ports and this is the port that my board is attached to. From this list I can tell because uh, I'm not using Bluetooth. This is my Lego hub. These are my headphones. So it must be this one. But if I do have a larger list and I can't figure out which one it is, uh, one solution is to just disconnect your board, rerun that same command, and I can see that that 14 to 10 port is now gone. So that must be it. And if I reconnect my board and rerun that command, it's back. So that's the one I want. So I'm just gonna copy that from here. And to run my program, I'm just going to type ampy, then the port that I want to run the program on, space run, and then the name of my file, led.py. Alright, so you can see that my code is working. I am seeing the output of the word working every second. However, if I look at my LED, it's not flashing. So I know my code is getting executed. I know it's being uploaded to my board. If I go back to my code, I can see, oops, we got an error here. It's actually turning it off, but then turning it right back on. So I'm just gonna save that. Go back to my terminal, just control C, and then rerun that line. Okay, and my code is running, and then this time we can see that my LED is flashing. Okay, so there's a second method of executing code on an ESP32 ESP board, this time using Visual Studio Code, which I prefer much over using Thani and manually publishing your code using Ampy uh, to your board.